I'm gonna focus on just exploring, doing some stuff, leveling. I went to level 8, but I didn't get any sort of points, I feel. Because if I usually get points and they tell me to allocate them, it's usually on the top right, where they're like, oh, you should upgrade. Ooh, enter the old mines. Let's see what's in here. In the darkest places, you can turn on your lantern. Oh, there we go. Okay. Kick is left control. Furious attacks. Q, parry, dodge. Okay. Technique, firearms. Oh, I have traps. Uh, let's bind it to three. I'm just going to put it there just to try it, honestly. And while I'm here, let me put some... Let me put some potions here. Like, let me put the resuscitation powder on four. Okay, so it's tab. I just need to remember for the future, it's tab. I guess there's enemies in the mines. Otherwise, they wouldn't tell me all these things, right? Oh, there's miners. Hello. You lost? No. Why do you ask? It's just that we rarely get visitors. Well then, what can I do for you? These people are pretty nice. What can you tell me about the ruins that we can see up there? Uh, not a great deal. To my knowledge, no one's ever been able to reach them. There were some officials from the city that came, but when they saw they couldn't easily climb up to the plateau, they just left. There must have been a <laughs> they gave up really here. fast. Unless some sort of tunnel in the mine takes you there. Anything else? Um... No, I don't well, think I need to know anything, then. Until we meet again. This is the most polite miner I've ever seen. <laughs> this is a passerby. Okay, so there's a lot of ways I can go. I can climb up. I can go down the tunnels. Okay, let's go down the tunnels. Let's see where it goes. Oh. Oh, I'm poisoned. Holy. Holy, 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 holy. Oh god, I'm poisoned again. Okay, and literally at the moment I thought that maybe I didn't need the uh... Alright, screw this one. Alright, we're not getting touched by these ever again. That was... Did you see how fast my health bar dropped? Freaking A, my health bar was plummeting faster than like freaking I don't even know how to explain it Jesus can I break this nope guess not oh is this just a dead end oh that would be very oh very unfortunate I guess I can't go through here let me check Oh wait, there's a there's a tunnel, there's a path. Oh, is it like here somewhere? Oh, it's it's up there, I think. It's either up there or I don't think it's oh maybe it's that one. But I can't go up, so I have to climb up the other way. But yeah, those that was that was dangerous. Let's climb, see where this goes. It's good to have a change of setting, honestly. Loot some stuff. Not gonna say no to that. Okay, that's cool. Where does this go? Recipe a new cog. Take everything. I guess that's what's missing. New cog. The hell is the recipe though? Like, what do I need the cog for? Uh, where is it? Sorry. Let's see what that is actually. It's apparently a quest item. The cog is part of a mechanism with the mine doors, but it is damaged. A good craftsman should be able to fix it. Oh, guess I have to craft it. 
So I can't unlock this way until further notice. Oh, there's, a, there's another way down. Okay, let's try that. There was, but it's caved in. Okay. So I guess there's nothing to explore on this side either. And then maybe on the other side then? Like here. I'm just gonna explore what I can right now. I know like there's some areas I might not be able to access just right now. Oh, there's definitely something spawning in this room. How's the rest of my team? Oh, big cave. Lots of unknown things. Absolutely not a single human life form. Definitely something is going to spawn here. Oh, yeah. Whew. 600 damage almost. Holy gee. Not for the faint-hearted at all. Blacksmith's gloves. Craftsmanship plus one. I mean, that's not bad. There's also iron ore, which I'm sure we can smelt into iron bars if I played enough RPG games with crafting mechanics in them. Why are all these places, like, shut off? I guess there's nothing to loot here. There's like two passageways, but I have no idea how to get to them. So I'm just gonna, I guess that's it for the mining exploration today. It's nice though. Got some good loot. Faced something like we, at least we now know that, I guess it's also cause I don't have any poison resistance in my gear, but that's a lot of damage. Like I, I, I actually didn't believe it when I saw my health bar dropping at a point. I'm like, well, oh, my health, that's, that's dropping really fast. Is that my health bar? And I'm like, oh wait, no, it is my health bar. Like freaking a. Okay, so I think the way to go down to the camp is down this way. Like down there's like this passage because this is all just stone, so I can't really go there. All right, let's let's run over there. The one thing I kind of find impressive honestly is that even though it's not an open world like a seamless open world game i don't feel restricted like i don't actually feel like oh there's a corner over here there's a corner over there and stuff like that like i actually don't feel that i feel pretty free in terms of my exploration just how i feel towards it like how i feel there's more things to do there's more exploration going on i actually like it i think it's pretty cool oh this poor guy he's pretty rich Ooh. Blackened short sword. Ooh. Dare I say we have a new weapon? Nope. Requires one agility. I said everything too soon. Um, speaking of that though, I do, do think that I can use blades kick slightly does more damage. Long blades. Do I want a long blade? Or do I want to set traps? Or hell, do I want to do this? I'll come on weapons. On only the following hits, right? Oh. Okay, so I can make sure that my guns or something do more damage over time. So do I want to go with the mace more or do I want to go with a, uh, okay. I'm going to go with the mace. Okay. I, I haven't decided, so I'm not going to make a decision right now. Like it, it's, it's too tempting either way. Like the mace feels a little bit underwhelming to be honest, but at the same time, I also understand that I only have literally one point into it. What the hell are you squealing about? She's like, Ugh. and I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you today? Is that a trap? Nope. 
Excuse me. Okay, so we've gone this way, this way, this way. So I think we go past the cav caravan. That's the chicken I killed. Rip chicken. But yeah, like, to be honest, I see all these beautiful things. And it doesn't really feel like I'm really losing out in terms of, like, open worldness. I don't feel too restricted, honestly. I feel really good. Which is kind of hard sometimes, because sometimes when they design, like, linear levels, per se, it's not exactly easy for you to have a level where you feel like you're free, but you're not actually free. Oh, this is a, this is a secret passage. Ooh. Uh... That looks like something I don't want to go into, honestly. But you know what? Screw this. We're going in. This looks like an altar for sure. We didn't spawn anything, which means we're not supposed to be here yet. Probably some ritual ground that we have to help some natives do later. It's like, we're going to summon the ritual beast. You must fight it. And they're like, great. It's like some one of those gargantuans that we fought in the... Uh... Ooh, there's civilization. Oh, no, that's a wooden bridge. Jump, figure level two, which I do not possess. Excellent. Oh, and also another reason, obviously, why my melee is so un unimpressive, obviously, is because I put all my points into accuracy. Oh, there's a skill altar there. Let's take that. Can't go wrong with more skill points, honestly. There's a beast there, though. There's two beasts there. There's a lot of beasts there. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't touch it. Wait, what? Alright, one down. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Nice. Other than the fact that the items can be kind of, um, I guess you can say, like, the maze can be kind of slow. It's not too, too bad, honestly. Let's get the skill altar. Greater haze potion. What's this? Mushrooms found mainly used to craft haste power and fury mist potions. Scout's tunic. Oh, that's very powerful, actually. A lot of poison resist, so this is definitely going to be useful for us if we're ever going to be fighting those freaking. Uh, if we're ever going to be fighting those freaking, what you call it? Actually, no. You know what? We should wear this one. This one's ridiculous. But yeah, it's definitely going to be useful if we fight those bats again. Sorry, that's what I was trying to say. Because those bats were like heavy uh, things. Uh, let's go left first. Because I think right side is going to be that camp. So let's go down this path first. Check in! Whew! Intact heart. Oh yeah, these are worth like 20 gold. Oh yeah. Give me more hearts, man. I I'll take all of them. Oh, what's that? Someone died here. Oh, he had a nasty fall. Probably head first, judging from this. Like... Jeez. Poor kid. That's one of my fear with bridges, right? Like, they, like, I remember, like, they were doing some sort of, not advertisement, but, like, they were showing, uh, what the frick are we fighting? Oh, more of those bears. Oh, shoot, I missed. Holy, we're getting slaughtered by these bears. Alright. No no time to... No time to play around right now. Oh my god, I'm being freaking comboed. This guy's comboing the crap out of me. One down. My companions are actually super OP. Like, I don't, I don't even understand how OP they're. One down, two down. Ooh. Die! Excellent. Oh, 
Nobody's giving me intact hearts. Sharp fangs, I'll take those. Anything that gives me money, I'll take at this rate. Oh, yeah. That's an intact heart. That's right. 20 gold in the bag. Excellent. Also, my armor. Is, this armor is actually ridiculous. 96 armor. It's an actually ridiculous amount of stat points. Uh, Let's go this way and then south. Because I think there's more to the south. Oh, God. There's more of these things. Oh, I, I can't believe I hit them. Ooh. Oh, shoot. God damn it. Stop interrupting me. I'm trying to show off my cool moves. All right, one down. Dude, I tried to actually pull off, like, the one bad thing about maces, for sure, is that they are incredibly slow. I think, I think I actually have made my decision that, ooh, oh, this is the stomach thing. That's worth a lot, too. I think I really made my decision that I probably don't want to go with maces, just because they're so slow. Like, in this game, speed is so important, because you're very easily interrupted in your combos. So it's better to have something that's actually super fast, so that you don't get interrupted, honestly. Ooh, treasure chest. Give me something good. Gold, okay. Resistance, alchemical preparation of elemental damage. Old gloves. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. Agility 2, okay. That's going to be hard considering I don't even have agility 1. But I'll take it. And then now we go down the south passage. So yeah, I think, I, I think moving forward, I'm really not going to do anything related to... Um, Nothing related to the mace weapons, honestly, because it's really not not good at all. It's too slow for me. I prefer like a faster playstyle where I can just start interrupting everyone's. Ooh, what's this? Professor Stafford. Oh, our professor guy, right? I do not think I have ever been more scared in my life than this Nadeg Magaman rush towards us, spear in hand. I thought my time had come and it would certainly have been the case were it not for the intervention of my courageous bodyguard who managed to deflect its attacks giving us enough time to escape. Yet, now that my fear has passed, I regret not having paid more attention to the beast itself. Despite its enormous size, it appeared almost human. We will have to continue observing them. Okay, so there's a human-like large beast in this area. This sounds like a really bad idea. Honestly, how many bullets do I have? Uh... I can't use any other blades right now. I can't. Frick it. Uh, any, do I have any upgrades in terms of gloves? These are better, but like they're not better by that much. And their armor stats are just worse. This is just trash. How about hats? Nothing gives me 15 loot chance. So how many bullets do I have? It's actually important. Oh, shoot. I only have four more bullets left. Oh, this is so bad. Uh... Now I'm not sure if I want to fight it. I mean, I could kind of depend on my allies to just beat it for me. I I'm almost certain that this large tumulus could teach us many things about these creatures. Some native elders told me there was a gigantic skeleton inside it. If only I could study it. In the end, the, the Nadeg Magaman managed to kill my most loyal bodyguard. I will make sure that his widow receives a healthy, hefty allowance. He fought like a lion. He gave his rapier before gave me his rapier before he died. According to him, I have a chance to survive an attack from this hit, from this beast if I poison the blade and strike repeatedly. I have to poison a weapon in order to have a chance. Poison the weapon. Uh, okay. Let's actually check. Since I have the extra point, I can do this. It allows the application of an alchemical preparation. Oh, no, I need two points. God damn it. Uh, oh, shoot. I see it. Oh, God. Uh, okay, since I only have four bullets, I'm I'm going to pussy out and not fight this guy yet. 
I'm gonna go buy some bullets before I go deal with this guy. Like, I really think, since I'm uh, technically a, a ranger type, the fact that I don't have any sort of uh, bullets with me, that I only have literally four bullets, is not beneficial. And judging from what I see from that thing, it's gonna take a lot more than four bullets to ever bring that, bring that thing even remotely close to down. So I'm gonna ignore it for now. I'm gonna go back and visit the village. Maybe the village has something to sell me. Maybe it doesn't. But I don't see myself actually winning that fight unless I like just hard rely on those my two companions to just carry carry me into oblivion. Which might work, but at the same time, I don't think it will. I think these kind of like stones are like the symbol of um, like a marker for the territory of these natives. Uh, let's see. Okay. Wait, I hear something. That is the weirdest noise I've ever seen a chicken make. It's kind of weird, honestly. Okay. The one thing I do, I would say about this game is that the, um... The water effects are kind of disappointing. Oh, cool. Look at this. Village of Viganamri. I swear. I'm, I If I butcher all of these words, I sincerely apologize. I know it's probably butchering all the words. Like, the water effect is the only thing here in this game where I feel like it's kind of underwhelming, honestly. I mean, it's okay. It's passable. And that's not good. Hey, friends. Oh, nobody wants to see me. I'm gonna talk to the chief. Yo, chief, I solved your problem. Give me some discounts. I need a discount for saving your sorry asses all the time. They have really weird buildings. What's this? I I just walked into someone's house. Uh, maybe maybe let's let's go talk to the chief first in case I get my ass kicked. Like who is this guy who comes in here and just literally just starts barging into everyone's huts? King. Oh, he's a king. Finally, someone's title, which is good. Speak to. Ulan. Oh, I got his name right, dude. I'm amazing. You have a peculiar face, and it looks familiar. I didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark of the Onol Manawi. To what do I owe the pleasure? Of oh, I guess our tattoo thing is a mark. I met a member of your clan in New Serene, a merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Anal Manawi who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaic say could be good. And you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaic say respect and listen to, are you not? As the legate of the congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hikmet. Okay. Sure, but what am I talking I want, with him about? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. The Sisagnames. Many kings want to chase the Renaigse away from the island. Especially the kings of Hikmet. Oh, we could learn many things from them, and we could arrange a great deal. I see. I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace. If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago, but I was told that the soldiers did not let him in. He fears for his life, because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renaigse. He could be attacked at any moment, alone on the road. Very well. 
I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter. So, yeah, okay, so there's these natives who um, clearly are not, you know, clearly they are not welcoming to us, which is only fair if you think about it, right? Like, why would you be? It's like, we're, we're basically invaders. So, I can't blame them, but this one is like, this king is trying to be like, okay, let's be open-minded about it. This could be a potential to trade, you know, we can trade with them gain resources with, the, with them and it makes perfect sense right so oh i can camp there and camp there is there a merchant in this area that i can buy an, an absurd amount of bullets from and by absurd i literally mean absurd i guess not dude you guys just trade stuff don't you man come on Ooh, nice meat Damn, I'm hungry looking. Wait, are you a merchant? Oh, you're an ancient. Hello. Dude. I hope one day they expect me to understand. Like, I don't... I just, sorry, I hope they don't expect me to understand this language. Because I will never bother learning it. Sorry, language acquisition is one of my absolute weak points. <laughs> I am not going to understand anything coming out of the mouths of these people. Unless they speak English. No offense, like, I understand we're supposed to learn and appreciate other people's cultures. It's not that I don't appreciate it, it's just I'm really bad at language acquisition. I barely know my own damn language. Poisoned alchemical mix. Nice. Take. I see more bullets, honestly. Ammo, that's nice. Alright. You are probably somewhat important because you have your own house. Guess not, because I can't talk to you. Guess I was wrong. Okay. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to camp outside this village. And then we're going to go visit the other people over there as well. Where is the campsite? Alright, we can camp here. Nice. Travel. Uh, let's travel to. Wait, I don't even know. Okay, where is the actual place I can travel to? I can travel to here. I think it's honestly easier if I walk, so I'm just gonna walk. Screw it. I'm too lazy for that. And yes, I know there's a boss there that I'm supposed to fight, but right now with the bullets I have, I don't think I'm going to succeed. So I'm going to actually wait for it till later. Am I going the right way? Yeah. It's kind of honestly a little bit. I'm really bad with directions in case you guys haven't noticed. So usually for me, it's like. I'm just lost <laughs> permanently. So usually I have to, especially with, because there's no mini map as well, which I think is fair. Like I, I don't, I don't believe having a mini map would help in this game. I think it actually brings me more focus into the actual game map, which I think is a nice, nice touch, honestly. So I have, I have no qualms with it. I'm just saying that it's just interesting. Oh, okay. It's so, oh. Okay, so the, the village is here, and then we're trying. To, they're trying to go to Heckmet. Nine hours and twenty five minutes. Okay, it's a long journey, honestly. Okay, now that I'm here, I actually want to test something. Can I craft bullets? I think what that's one of my main gripes about. Not gripes, just things I'm concerned about. Ammo. I need science level two, and even then, I can't make that much, honestly. I only have nine bullets right now. I need way more bullets. Okay. And by way more, I mean like a literally abs an absurd amount of bullets. Okay, so we're not going to go. We're not going to do that. So let's continue. We're going to go to the city of the Bridge Alliance. So the Bridge Alliance, for those who don't remember, are basically the region of science. They have like a, a Middle East aesthetic and like name base. And yeah, they're like mainly their pursuit is of science, but 
the issue you could say is that it's science by any cost. And there's obviously a lot of po like political intrigue in there. So there's some scientists who who might be like against uh that looks dangerous. I'm not going that way. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like just like nope. But yeah, there's like a, um there's a scientist who like try to use any methods like even if it's inhumane, even if it's like human experimentation. And obviously they they get flack for that. Some people don't like it when they do that. Some but they believe that science is just better than everything. And then there's another group which is more about uh the the thelems, the themes, the thelems, whatever they're called. And they're mo more about um they're more about religion. So they're more like the Vatican, you know. They're more like the grand pope. There's a pope probably somewhere. Um there's and then even then internally there's a rift there's like the people that are ve very very devout to their teachings they just oh uh that's a no no to me that's cool though so the, the beasts are actually asleep at night so it actually pr not prevents us from from fighting them but it like minimizes the chance of us getting on their freaking oh god nerves i say that and immediately something is about to hit me oh ow okay Okay, uh, that's not good. I'm about to freaking die. I might drink a potion. Damn it, I can't freaking dodge for the life of me. Just die. One down. I don't know how I leveled up in between. That's dead. I have three more bullets. Okay, let's tr finish this with a knife. Whew. All right, that was honestly way more challenging than I anticipated. Beast, come on, give me something good, man. Give me something good, man. I, I ain't got no bullets no more, man. Ooh, intact heart, bile, obsidian. Oh, that's definitely a good haul. Do I want to travel further to rouse potentially more beasts? Absolutely. I have no more bullets. I guess I have to be a little more careful. A little. Just just a little. Oh. Wait, what the frick happened? Did you see the speed at which that thing just ran off? Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's not go further here. I really, really do want to stock up before I get myself into trouble again. So I'm going to go back to the main road and we're just going to go straight to Hikmet. Ooh, are you a merchant? Oh no, you're the guy who's, who's stuck here. Okay. Let's see what the city of the new uh, the bridge alliance looks like. It's actually really underwhelming, if you ask me. Caravan leader, that's fine. Don't care about you. Halt! What's your destination, my lord? Just into town. I am an emissary of the congregation, and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then, good travels, my lord. Okay. That was easy. Almost too easy. Kind of scares me. Let's see what their defensive arrangement looks like. Pretty good. They have walls, towers. Very not sturdy walls. The fences look like they could snap literally any second. So this is the... Oh, this is just an outpost. Okay, that makes more sense, right? It'd be weird if this is actually their city. Who are you? Oh, you're, you're probably one of the actual bridge alliance. I guess this is the bridge alliance uniform. Like, these are like soldiers of the bridge alliance. Of course, they they have to have their standing army. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. Oh, sick bay. Damn. Oh, this guy did not have a good time. 
Poor thing. Rest in pieces. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am looking for stuff to loot. Because I am always on the lookout for more loot. A lot of dead people, though. I guess they've been fighting a lot. Like, you've been like the. Because this is the outpost area. Let's take a look on the ramparts. Oh, this is like the storage area. Can't go in here. Lots of pikes. Practicing. This is the barracks, definitely. Lots of training facilities. They look well stocked. You know, which means they obviously wouldn't mind if I, you know, take a modest donation from their supply cases. Alright, I think that's... Ooh, oh, is this just a... Yeah, it's just a workbench. It's fine. Okay. Continuing on our journey. Oh, this bridge looks solid. Ah, that's... Hickman. Oh, that city looks nice. Region of Hickman. Okay, we're finally past the outpost. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, I was kind of like unimpressed. I was like, that kind of is tiny, you know? It's like, places. How the hell do you have such a tiny area? But, dude, look at this. Dude, this city looks badass. Like, our city? looks absolutely pathetic in exchange like like don't don't you think so like dude this is this is amazing like look how large the city is even our our city i guess it might be because they've established their foothold er way earlier than we have i guess i'm just this is just obviously speculation like i have no goddamn idea but like dude imagine trying to take the city this is what i've always like kind of like admired it's like soldiers are marching who's attacking me we got heretics yo you want to fight bro actually no i don't want to fight you you're crazy die one dead One more. Nice. I actually like. Who are these people? Are they like bandits or something? Oh, this is what I have. Like, I actually don't understand. Like, sometimes I guess they're bandits. But why would you be trying to rob people? Like, this is the only part I don't understand, right? Like, that's the city. You're literally robbing people at the gates of the city. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me why these people would still be allowed to live, right? It's like, who robs, like, you know, if you're, if you're a robber, if you're a bandit, you rob people at the, like, you know, on the roads, you know, in, in, like, remember, this place that they're robbing you from is literally in between the city walls and the outpost. Who the hell is so ballsy to start robbing people in this area? Like, it makes absolutely no sense, right? Like, it just doesn't make sense. It confuses me almost. It's like, why would you... Who would allow such a thing? The guards would be on you in, like, two seconds. And you'd be screwed either way because you clearly cannot escape. Because you're stuck. I don't know. It's just really, really weird. Alright. I think I'm still on suspicious level with him, but I am I am who I am, so I should be allowed into the city, right? Halt! Your names, titles, and business at hand. Sir de Sarde, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier Fredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. See, this is the good part, right? When you have guards that are officially trained. 
everything is clear. City of Hikmet. Dude, I love this city. Dude, this city is ginormous. Okay, yes, I probably know that we're never going to be able to visit the side on the left. But I can't wait to see... Oh, I need to talk to this one. Your Excellency, welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hikmet. And always in the vanguard of progress. <laughs> I love the way she sells it. Dude, uh, what happened to my face? I guess it's just a lighting issue. It looked like I got charred black or something. It's a war axe. Two-handed swords. I don't think I like two-handed swords. I, I really do prefer... Ooh, blackened iron fist. Ooh, look at that weapon, though. Yo. That looks so sick. Like, you see that hammer with the nails on it? Dude, that's actually broken. I guess the, the Bridge Alliance really likes their, um, their blunt weapons, eh? Like, their blunt weapons are thing. Okay. Oh, purple. It still does less than me. That's kind of weird, though. Oh, it does less because it does more armor damage. It, oh, oh, it does elemental damage. Oh. I see, I see. This is, okay, this has a higher chance of stunning. Accuracy three. Oh, okay. So I can't use it technically, but I could. But do I? Can I afford it? Is the other issue, which is generally speaking, no. I think I might just buy this. I mean, but here's the thing, right? If I'm gonna use six hundred gold to buy a blue weapon, why don't I just spend a hundred more to buy this weapon, right? That's that's the issue. But first of all, the main issue is I need bullets because I have absolutely no. Oh my god. Oh my god. For those of you who don't know, I have a huge fascination with uh, Plague Doctors. I like this helmet. This helmet looks nice. Right, we're not buying... We're only buying guns, though. And bullets. We need bullets. Oh, they only have four? God damn it. Whatever. I have, I have to buy all the bullets I can find. I'm not even kidding. Um, Sale. Okay, so let's take a look at the weapons we're willing to sell. Okay, first of all, let's sell all the junk first. So we have this. I want to see how much gold we have after we sell all this first. Okay, I think we actually have enough to buy the... Uh, buy that weapon, honestly. Dude, we have so much leather, it's not even funny how much we have of it. And there's all these potions, which I actually don't understand what the hell they are. I actually forgot what we need to make. Um, right, let's sell this. Let's sell the the gear for sure. Uh, I'm not gonna sell any of these armor sets because these armor sets usually represent a different faction. So I'm keeping it just in case I need to like, I guess like you can say like meld into other people. Uh, I can sell the gloves though. Let's get some income in. Doctor's gloves gives me poison resist. Elemental resist craftsmanship. Okay, okay, I can sell the doctor's gloves for sure. Uh, I can sell these boots. I know they're five bucks each, but hey, five bucks is five bucks. I, I don't have... I'm not in a position to be greedy about any of this right now. Uh, I can sell the rusty stiletto. I have two black and short swords, which actually is pretty good. Uh, I'll sell one of them. And stone needle. Uh, okay. So which blade is better? 2, 8, 12. Rusty, Scribier, Stun, 64, 8. So this is like better in every single way. So I'm going to sell this sword. I don't, I don't think we need the Claymore either. I don't, I don't think I'll be using a two-hander anytime soon. You know what? I'll keep one just in case, to be fair. Like, I don't know. But like... Sure, I think I think that's okay. All right, and now I think I can buy the gun though. I can buy it, but do I want to? Is the issue like it actually does eighty-five less damage, which is actually insane. 
But I don't know if that 85 is because of the gun. Like, this is a ridiculous amount of damage. 472, 45. But this one does more elemental damage. So I assume the elemental damage compensates for it, which is why the, the gun is insane. Because I lose 85 here, but I gain 295 here. Just let me see if I can get to three first. Uh, you know what? I'm going to commit to swords. Like I said, I'm committing swords. Um, I do think... Okay, I'm going to put two points in here. Because I, I want to apply, like, poison into the thing. Uh, accuracy... Th oh, I can't put a point. When is the next one? Level 10. So next level, I can, I can use that gun. Um... I'm not going to focus on craftsmanship yet because I want to focus on, um... Uh, I'm going to focus on charisma because I find that trying to convince people is actually insanely important. Like, it's not even funny how important it is. And I'm not going to buy the gun yet because I'm going to wait to see if uh, I get it better. Dude, this place is nice. I like the... Like, Honestly, yes, to be honest, it's slightly similar in the sense where the game is, um, like, obviously a lot of these crates, barrows, and stuff are, like, kind of reused and stuff, but it's just the way some things are the- We are at war. I'm not certain that I can remain calm if I see such a man. The little oh. Man's not wrong. You came to flatter him. The sailor is less likely to cause an incident, but you are the diplomat. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's cool. Like, actually, that's such a cool, like, interaction, right? The character literally tells you, I don't want to see them because I'm literally at war. They're trying to kill me. Like, you know, that kind of thing. That's so damn sick. Governor's Research Laboratory. All right, let's go to Disarday's house first. I'm surprised we have our own house here, honestly. That's one thing I'm surprised about. I bet it looks... As a diplomatic accommodation available to you in the main cities of different nations. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. Yep, it looks exactly like the one I have at home. So, okay, actually, I need to see what is the ingredient for me to craft ammo. I need science level 2, which I don't have. But I need hoof fungus and crude iron. Okay, hoof fungus and crude iron. Or I can just buy it, honestly. Like, this is the thing. I want this. Like, you see this lock symbol, which means that, hey, you can't craft this right now. Like, I want this um, in here. Like, if I want to craft something, I need I need them to tell me I can't craft it. Because this is irritating me, honestly. Uh, let's compose your team. So I'm going to take... I'm going to remove you from the team. I'm going to add Vasco to the team. Confirm. Okay. Cool. Uh, prosecutor, coin barracks. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Let's go. Let's go talk to the governor since the governor is the main point why we're here. We just talk to them, get, get some information across. And also do what the uh, the merchant wants us to do. Like the merchant natives. I suppose there's nothing to loot here. No, not really. Okay. Are you going to stop me too? Apparently not. Oh, this looks hella familiar. It's almost like it was copy and pasted. Pretty sure our stairs were marble too. Yes, our stairs were definitely marble too. They have more pillows than us. That's already putting putting them at a highly advantageous position. Clearly, I prefer to have more pillows. Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. 
the Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities, even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the Isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. Alas, Ooh. we've had no news from them for quite some time now. Oh, that's where I come in. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The That's where I come natives in. Natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. We are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city. Even my character is losing the patience. To share with you the results of our research, if Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes. We would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops, as well as our caravans, have been suffering incessant attacks. Mm -hmm. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them. His Consider incompetence? Certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved. You would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subject? Yes, I have another. I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. True. I know that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Oh, of Should course. Grasp the concept of emissaries. Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, a member of Ulan's clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us. And he might even prove useful if the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Nice. We got, like, he's straight, he's actually very cooperative. I'm surprised. <laughs> that's good. That's good. So he's allowed the merchant in, but you can see that he has a sense of like ruthlessness in him. He's like, oh, of course I'll let him in because if anything goes wrong, I can hold the merchant hostage. He's smart. And honestly, you can't be a governor by being soft hearted, right? Like you have to be sometimes be a little bit more cunning, a little bit more ruthless. That's how the game, that's how the world works. You're not... You don't just become the most powerful person on earth by being naive. Politics would eat you alive if you did that. Uh, there's a lot of like 
I don't know if question marks means quests or just points of interest. Regardless, I think it's interesting enough that I'm going to go with... Ooh, nice. I see a... Uh... This city has significantly less people, though. Like, I don't... Is it because it's, like, just early morning and no one's up yet? Like, there, it's like a dead city. Like, this is like... There's one woman here who's drinking, like, literally at 7 a.m. in the morning. Props to you. Thumbs up for people drinking at, <laughs> drinking at 7 a.m. in the morning. I haven't done that in God knows how long. But yeah, like, this city is really dead. What's this? For hot store and laboratory. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed in here, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, I'm just gonna I, I'm just trying to quickly do like a scouting of the city and just see what's what's here and what's not kind of deal These are storerooms warehouses. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed inside. So it doesn't matter Can I climb through this? No, this is clearly like Yeah, clearly we can't go in like you can see from the window that everything inside is blank It's basically an empty room But I don't care. It's okay. Like I can overlook these minor things honestly. I would say that obviously if you're gonna put a house there and you're clearly not intending to put anything there honestly just for the love of god shut it off like just blank all the windows you know make it black or something like at least nobody can see inside kind of thing it just makes everything easier but yeah this city is strangely just empty there's like nothing here like what the hell is going on It's just so damn weird. Doctor's house? The hell's a doctor for? Maybe a doctor will be something useful. Let's check it out. Oh. Doctor? Is there a... Does the doctor need help or anything? Oh, do you have a... you have a fast travel point? No. I like it though. Like even though the house is diff like is the same layout per se, at least the um, at least these stuff are like even. Right? Like at least they're they're kind of the same in the sense where like at least the layout inside are diff uh, different. So that gives me a variety. The best potions and the most efficient. Greetings. I immediately spotted that you are a real science enthusiast. I have all the potions you could ever dream of, and other things too. We also sell ingredients, and we even craft on demand. So, what would you like? I want to see what they have. Oh, you have blunderbusses too? Huh? I could get a turban. This is what I like though. At least that you can see that the gear that this place sells is at least you know are like oh they sell oh my god they have a discount on um bullets i'll buy all of them <laughs> i'm not i'm not being stingy on bullets uh oh my god no oh, they're one dollar each what was the other thing i think it was like who fungus right okay i'm gonna check just oh shoot i just bought the bullets god damn it Uh, so let's look at my bullets. I want to see what's hoof fungus and crude iron ore. Hoof fungus, crude iron ore. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy all the hoof fungus and all the crude iron ore I had. I can. Crude iron ore. I'm buying all 16 of them. And hoof fungus. That's going to be 28 gold. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. I'm going to buy all of that. Because I'm going to need to craft bullets. So I see no reason why I should not just buy every single one of them. Considering the our consumption of bullets, right? Like our consumption of bullets is actually insane. I guess there's not much to do. I am going to buy a new gun though. Definitely. All right, take all my money. Just take it. Is this the moment? Moment of truth? I 
I'm surprised that two dollars is literally a 20 damage difference. All right, I'm sold. Dude, I, I actually, is it just me? Or did my charisma thing like really, really reduce the cost of that gun? Cause I remember like, honestly, I swear to God it was, it was at a certain point where the gun was like 700 something dollars. And now I put one point into my charisma and now it's like 600. I just reduced it by like a hundred dollars. Am I, am I just hallucinating or is like, was, was that actually the case? Cause that's insane. All right, now we have to go talk to this outpost guy and say, who's trying to kill you and what are they doing? Where's the commander? Must be somewhere here. Oh, there he is. Commander. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I hear you're being attacked and you've been wiped Admiral out. Baron has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Oh, is it that guy that like... That had like... Was like bleeding all over the place? Oh no, he's right there. He's fine. I thought he was the one who was bleeding on the table. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that one's dead, yo. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. All right, what happened? How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further, so we camped away from the road. Trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck. In the middle of the night. True. Best time best time to hit someone. Were there several attackers? I counted five. Maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them. But their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. Oh, so it's like similar to the tribe that we have. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. Okay. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. So one thing is what one thing I'm suspecting at least is the reason why they're constantly attacking the caravans obviously is because they're at war. What do you do when you're at war? You cut the enemy supply lines. Like I'm sure a lot of people who actually play war games understand this. Like in actual war, it doesn't really matter what your, um, it doesn't really matter what your, what do I call it? Um, like it doesn't, it's not about like big battles, you know, like one V ones kind of thing like that. Right. It's literally about cutting people's supply line, starving them to death. Make sure they have no food, morale plummets. Hello. 
Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. Yeah. Try to reason. I thought I would see several islander warriors attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. <laughs> I must have been mistaken. You are very wrong. Now that you are here to defend him, it is an How did I fail a 75% chance fight? Oh, there's a lot of them. Dude, I do no damage. What the frick? One down. Two down. Oh, freaking Vasco is garbage in fighting. Either that he's garbage or these guys are actually super powerful. Are you just healing in front of me? Dude, do not do that. Honorable fight. Is that what you wanted? Huh? May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donaya Exergao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. Adloreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. One thing I also just just kind of like realized is I think if we had the ooh shield medal what's that HP healing ten per second oh, okay magic regen elemental resist poison resist okay uh what was I saying one thing I think has happened is if uh, we had our other girl here we might have been okay I have a feeling more armor that's always nice. Was that all the corpses? That seems very little. All right, let's go and let's go. Just take a look at the attack, the uh, place of attack. Damn, we used a lot of bullets. Let me heal myself a little bit. Uh, it's this way. Here we are. Stay alert. I mean, anyone who's read The Art of War knows this is absolutely unfavorable terrain. They're all over cliffs. They just have archers and they could just pin you all off. Been destroyed. They clearly don't need it. Yeah, it's it just a... that their camp should be close by. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. No, I mean, if they're empty, that doesn't doesn't that just mean that they looted everything? They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Find the rebels. Oh god, no, I hate these. Oh shoot, no! I am gonna die from this stupid poison. Oh shoot, how did I miss that? What the frick? That scared me. I was like, I saw the poison again. I'm like, I'm just getting, I'm getting completely wrecked. It's not even close. I love how they baited me too. They, they gave me a treasure chest. I'm like, you know, I can't say no to this treasure chest.